Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to take you through the Angel perfume range from Thierry Mugler. They have had lots of different versions of Angel over the years, but right now there are five different types of Angel that you can buy. So I'm going to take you through them all and hopefully you'll find it useful. So, first of all, let's start with the most straightforward, the original Angel Eau de Parfum. This was launched in 1992, so really quite a long time ago now, and a lot of people say that it reminds them of the 90s, it's really 90s perfume, and it's very much made itself a classic in the perfume industry. Um, lots of people still wear this, it's kind of timeless, and I believe it was the first ever blue perfume certainly the most sort of innovative bottle with it being in a star and it's also one of the very few like refillable perfumes that you can get to help you sort of save money I guess just getting a simple bottle to refill your star um, when you run out of your angel. So there are actually a huge amount of fragrance notes in Angel Eau de Parfum, over 20 different scents in here. So it's a real mix of lots of things. And I wouldn't say that one particular one completely dominates. So there are some that you really can smell more than others. So the thing that Angel is kind of famous for is the fact that it has a huge amount of patchouli in here. And that's probably the main smell that you get. But along with that patchouli, you get a load of gourmand sweet smells. So you've got chocolate in here, you've got caramel in here, you've got coconut in here, honey. And it combined all those sweet notes, vanilla, really do sort of beat the patchouli and you can kind of smell them all mixed together even more than you can smell the patchouli. So it's really quite sweet and quite warm. There are some woody notes here, in here, some tonka beans, some musk, um, which really help with the longevity, I think. And then they've put quite a few sort of citrus fresh notes in here, which perhaps you get in the first few seconds when you spray it, but they're not really there in the dry down at all. In the dry down, dry down it's very much all about the sweet smells and the patchouli. I wouldn't say that Angel Eau de Parfum is a particularly old or young smell. I think it's pretty timeless, pretty ageless. And, you know, I know people wearing this of all different ages. And I think that it's really pretty bottle for your dressing table. And it's just cool and different like all the muggle fragrances are. And just like all the others as well, this is a really good long lasting perfume. You can use just one spray and it's going to work and you're going to smell of it for a long time. It fills the room, it will linger on your clothes for days, your whole wardrobe, you'll open your wardrobe and everything will smell of it if you've been using it on lots of different clothes. It's it's basically a really good quality perfume and having that refillable element to it really helps make it good value for money. There are all different sort of refillable bottles you can get for Angel and also like cases you can get um, to keep the star in and they do different limited edition bottles all the time. I think sometimes people think that these are different fragrances, they're not, they're the same fragrance just in limited edition bottles like at the moment I think there's a like a frosted glass one that came out for Christmas. Now there was an Angel Eau de Toilette released but that is no longer available that's not sold here in the UK anymore so I'm not going to cover off that one because you can't get it. So the next one I'm going to cover comes in that same star bottle as Muggler, but it is a different smell. It's called Angel Fruity Fair, and as you would expect, this has um, much more dominant fruity notes in it than the original Eau de Parfum. So they've really simplified this, and they have taken out the sort of chocolatey praline notes and replaced them with a whipped cream sweet sugary note, and also um, loads of red berries, and I think I get red berry here more than I get anything else. And so it is fruity, but it's not fruity like a strawberry, it's fruity like a sort of winter berry fruity. Um, but they have kept all the patchouli in, so you still get lots of that as well. There's some vanilla in here, they've put lychee in, which you get some of at first when you spray it and perhaps a little bit in the dry down. And interestingly, they've used a fragrance note, which is the um, rose 
stem. So if you, you know, the thorny stems of a rose, if you imagine when you cut that, the smell that you get, so it doesn't smell like a rose petal flower, it smells like the inside of the stem, so it's a little bit green. I think this is the nice, fun version of Angel. If you wear Angel perhaps in the winter or in the evenings, you could perhaps wear this during the day or in the spring, summer, just to mix it up a bit. I can imagine, particularly in very hot climates, original angel eau de parfum might get a bit much so this is a bit of a fresher way to get that same fragrance so next up is Angel Etoile de Rive. I've probably pronounced that wrong. I think this has a really cool bottle, um, very different, very unusual bottle, um, carrying on the blue star theme. Now here we have the chocolatey praline, we have the patchouli, we have the vanilla, but that really is it. There's a hint of lime when you first spray it and there's a bit of musk in the dry down, but those are the only notes in here, so it's a much simpler version of Angel. Um, to me this is kind of the same but softer than original angel it's kind of a softer version simpler version it's the same type of notes but they've just switched them up a little bit and it, it does have that real sweetness to it that you get sort of from the chocolatey praline so it has a lot in common with original angel and i think that it's definitely worth a try if they do have a tester in store and if you're a diehard Angel fan, then perhaps try this just to mix it up a little bit, but it is predominantly very similar to Angel. So in 2016, we got Thierry Muggler's Angel Muse perfume. Now, interestingly, they have positioned this as a separate perfume to Angel. In their sort of list of what all their different perfumes are, they classify this as separate to Angel, whereas things like Angel Fruity Fair, they classify as a like a flanker of Angel. They've deliberately put it in a different kind of bottle, so it has a star on it, but it's a pinky peachy colour, you know, and a sort of whole different marketing campaign. So uh, what I expected is that it would be very different. It's smelling to Angel, when in fact I don't think it is that different really. So again, patchouli is the dominant fragrance here, red currant is back, chocolate's back, and they've put in some woodier notes in this one, so you do get a little bit more of that woodiness in the dry down than in Angel. I think if someone wasn't particularly familiar with Angel and they smelt Angel and then they smelt Angel Muse, they'd be like, oh, isn't that the same perfume? Like, it's, it, I don't think it's distinctively different enough to be classified as a whole separate perfume um, because it does have like all those notes that have been used in the original Angel range. Um, having said that, um, people do really like it, it's a little bit different, if you're sick of Angel then it's one to try and I think rather than having just the simple chocolatey praline this has a lot more hazelnut in it so if you like those nutty perfumes perhaps over the winter Christmas time when that sort of nutty smell can be quite nice then perhaps this could be a good time to be using it or if you're a nut fan then you'll probably prefer this to normal Angel. So lastly we have Angel Muse Eau de Toilette. Now this is probably the lightest in the whole Angel range. It comes um, in the same bottle as normal Angel Muse but the liquid is kind of like a bright pink and I think this is probably best if you like the smell of Angel but you normally find Angel too heavy. This is definitely the one for you. Um, what they've done here is you've got that chocolatey hazelnut but they've put a load of passion fruit in here as well so kind of imagine like having a a praline hazelnut chocolate and inside it's got a big passion fruit center there's a little bit of a woody note in here and also some like orangey citrus um, but the big difference in here is there's no patchouli like there is in the other fragrances and I think that is what makes it so much lighter Definitely a nice one to try, or perhaps in the summer if you wear Angel, you could then have this with you in your handbag and top up throughout the day. So you get a bit of the Angel top up, but you also have that freshness, so you're not layering on endless amounts of Angel and it, and it gets too much. Um, I think this is quite nice. It's just, it's a much more mainstream, much more appealing. And if you were buying a gift for someone, I think out of all of them, this is probably the safest one because it's harder to dislike because it's less intense and bold. 
Um, it is an eau de toilette, so you do have to keep in mind that it's not going to last as long as a normal eau de parfum, um, but the price is cheaper to reflect that, so I guess you get what you pay for. So that's it, so I hope you found this review useful, if you wear Angel do let me know what you think of these different versions, what your favourite is in the comments below, I'd love to hear what you think. If you enjoy my perfume reviews don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you did find this a helpful review. But that's it, so thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it and I'll see you again real soon. But bye for now!